Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of the penetration tester and hackers dream operating system. This is called Kali Linux. It is what was formerly Backtrack. Kali Linux has all the tools required for uh, testing uh, security systems. So once you boot, you have the option to do a live boot or you can do a graphical install. Live boot will let you check it out. You can do a live USB persistence on this. We're going to do the graphical install. Um, I have used Backtrack before. Not a whole lot. I actually use Kali Linux a lot now. Uh, Kali is really nice. You want to select your language, hit continue. Select your country, hit continue, and then of course select your keyboard layout, which for here is American English, so click continue. Kali being based off of Debian is very, very, very stable. There is a lot of software out there for it that you can install into it, and there is going to be a lot of tools that are already installed with this particular distribution. Uh, in particular, it's going to already have um, Nmap for Linux map for network mapping, and to be able to actually go in and check out uh, ports and stuff like that on a network. It's going to have Metasploit already set up. It's already going to have Nessus, and it already has Burp Suite. So it has a lot of the applications you need to be able to actually test security. Um, use exploits to break systems if you do find a uh, if you do find a vulnerable system so like I said this is a penetration testers dream it's a hackers dream and a security operatives worst nightmare so once you set your host name which I'm just gonna leave it on the default of Kali click continue Domain name, again, this is only required if you're on an enterprise system or if you're actually on a domain-based network. This one is not, so we're just going to hit continue. And it's going to come up to configure network. Uh, if you're using uh, Ethernet, it'll automatically configure your network. If you're using wireless, then it'll bring you up to the screen to select your wireless network and then put in your passphrase. And once you do that, you hit continue and you'll come to this screen to set your root password. You really on this want to make sure your root password is something difficult, not easily guessed, and not easily tied to you. So once you get your root password set, hit continue. And now you want to set what time zone you're in. Once you select it, click continue. Now we're going to do guided use entire disk. Click continue. Make sure that the hard drive is selected. Click continue. And we're going to go ahead and do all files in one partition. Click continue. And then on finish partition, right changes to disk. Click continue. Now here's the right changes you're going to want to hit yes and click continue you might be asked if you want to encrypt the hard drive um, if you set it up as an LVM you can encrypt the entire drive I would highly recommend that we're not going to do that on this because this is for um, demonstration purposes but you will want to encrypt the drive and you might even want to encrypt Root's home folder. Um, you don't have to, it's just highly recommended for security reasons. But you can do it just like this and it still will function just fine and you'll, for the most part, be okay. But trust me, if you're going to use this for penetration testing, 
Depending upon your organization and everything, you might want to verify what their policies are. A lot of them require the encryption. Some of them don't. If you're using it for home use, I would highly recommend the encryption, but you don't have to set it up. That's just firm opinion, especially given the nature of this operating system and the tools supplied herein. This is the 64-bit version of Kali Linux, so once this is done, the 32-bit uh, oh, the 32-bit libraries are not pre-installed with it, so if you want to install different things like TeamViewer and stuff like that, you will have to install the 32-bit libraries first. I will have a separate video on installing the 32-bit libraries in Kali Linux, and then how to basically go get... Uh, Team Viewer and Skype. I'll also have some videos on using some of the various tools that is in Kali Linux for doing penetration testing on your own network and systems. This OS by nature is a tid smidget more secure than some of the others, but not insanely. A lot of it you will have to go in and configure and set up yourself, which is no real big downfall. It's just the nature of the beast. So right now it's installing the system. I'll be back and we'll be going over more of this shortly. It'll get to a point where it starts asking about a proxy and it'll configure your network, ask you if you want to use the supplemental, make sure it says yes, click continue. On the proxy part, put in the proxy address if you're using one. If not, just click continue because you're not going to use the proxy. If you happen to be on a transparent proxy, that doesn't really matter anyway. You're not going to need to program in the proxy address. Just click continue. It'll go through, finish installing APT, and then it'll be at this point where it's at configuring the package manager. So the installation is not too far from being done. Okay, and once it gets through with all that, it's going to get to the point for the grub bootloader. Leave it on yes and just click continue. And then instead of on enter device manually for install grub bootloader on hard drive, select the hard drive and click continue. This helps to make sure that it actually installs the bootloader to the hard drive. Now it's on the finish installation at this particular point. You want to eject the disk and click continue. As you can see down here, it ejected the ISO, so the disk is out. It's going to run the cleanup that it has to for the install, and then it'll reboot. When it reboots, you will be ready to log into Kali Linux. By the way, when you log in for the first time, you're actually going to log in as root. Don't do a whole lot as root. The main thing you should do as root whenever you first log in is add a new user, log out of root, and log in as that user. Alright, now that it has rebooted, as I stated earlier, you're going to have to log in as root. And this is Kali Linux after the first install. You'll notice you have a dock bar over here on the side, kind of like the Unity bar in Ubuntu. Right there's Burp Suite, there's Metasploit. If you come up here to Applications, click on the drop down. You'll see that there are a lot of tools. There's Vulnerability Analysis Tools, Web Application Analysis, Data Assessment lots and lots of stuff on here. There's stuff for sniffing and spoofing. So this really is the penetration tester and hackers dream operating system. That also comes with the office applications and everything else just like a standard Linux distro. It's just really hev heavily configured for mostly penetration testing and white hack white hat hacking this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share have a great day